Hello, welcome to the channel. This is the Baron. This is my very last gift bundle. Also my third one from this last collection that I bought. And uh, yeah, I just don't foresee doing these anymore. I mean, I got them at, at around $60 and now I see them doing 75, 80 bucks. So I think I'm out, but I should almost be done with a full set of Lost Caverns of Ixalan. Putting together my commander deck, putting together all the commons and uncommon play sets, and then picking up also the single cards I needed for standard. So, finally done. Let's see what our Jurassic Park card will be. Let's hope it's something that we don't have. And it is Savage Order Foil. At least it's got a little value, and it may be something I need. Not sure on that one, but I'm not unhappy with it. Now let's get into here, and let's hope for more Jurassic Park cards, because they have been hard to pull out of the set packs for me. And we're just going to fly through these, because we're just looking for uncommons and rares and mythics. All right, there's a rare. Wanderer of the Inner Sky. A common foil and a token. And uncommon already. Nice full art dinosaur uncommon there. And then we have a rare Thousand Moon Smitty. And then a common foil. And another token. We have a foil, full art land. We're into our uncommons already. Just looking for that one destruction. And all right, we got our first rare, which is the vampire demon. Oh, this is the picture I'm used to. So that's the other one that we've been pulling. Okay. And we got our second rare which is a deep pride mage there, I think. An uncommon foil and a map token. All right, into the uncommons. And then our first rare is a uh, <laughs> Awakening. I actually do have that one for sure. And then a common foil. And then we got a list hit of an elemental creature. I'd love to pull like a roaming throne or something out of this. Uh, I can still use some of those. And our first mythic is a legendary creature. So, common foil and token. Yeah, I don't know if I need her or not. It's definitely one of those things I may use in Commander. Uncommon, uncommon, common. And then our rare is uh, Malcolm and the special art. And then we have a Merfolk Scout as our rare. And then we have a Mythic, the Blue God, which I don't have. So that is cool. And then we have a token. So we got a Blue God. Still never pulled the White God. I think I got the Green God. And that's the Blue God. So, getting closer. Got a lot of uncommons here. There's a nice uncommon dinosaur art. And then we have a rare. And another legendary creature. And then we have a common foil. And we have another list hit of a great catapede.
got a lot of uncommons here. We have another rare. We've seen that guy before. And then we got an uncommon foil. And then we got another list hit of, uh, I guess, just a sorcery this time. All right, that's it. Uh, not really much going on here. No Jurassic Park cards, unfortunately, in our set packs. And so we are going to the lucky last pack of the collector, hoping to pull good Jurassic Park card out of here. And uh, maybe a roaming throne, maybe a, a white god, um, something that we haven't seen. I'll just stack them right here on with the rest of the foils. So we'll do. Actually, I want to move these over. There we go. We'll do these like this. So there is our uncommons going into our land. And then our first one. Ooh, we got the Siren Pirate Malcolm. That's weird. Is it just a special. I thought that was like a special guest slot. Hmm. That is a cool card. Even if it's just an alt art. And then we got a dino. Hatcher. Oh, we got a Queen's Bay Paladin. Full art vampire knight. That's cool. And we got a dinosaur egg. All right. Then we got a restless reef. And here we go. We got a forest. And then the last card is a Roaming Throne Full Art Foil. Finally, something I know is worth at least 20 bucks, so it really helps. This is at least a third of the, uh, the box. So that is cool, and I definitely need them. Uh, they're going to be good in any tribal. I... I don't really see this being less than a $20 rare, and then depending on if you like this art, it's more, and I think those are going to go up if they don't reprint them, and with it being a standard product, I think it will be a little while before they reprint them, so you could see this turning into like a, I would say between a $30 and $50 card, because it's going to be an Ever Commander deck that's tribal. It's just such a great card. I'm happy to get, this is only my third copy I went through, I'm going to say something like 10 bundles. I mean, I have them online so you guys can watch them. But yeah, I went through a lot of bundles. Only wound up with three of these guys. So that was a lot of packs, a lot of collector packs, a lot of set packs. So thanks for watching. If you enjoy this, please like, subscribe, and all that fun YouTube stuff. And I will see you next time.